Hey, I'm Bowen Karens, former Papa Champion. We're here at the Papa facility outside of Pittsburgh to play some Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone is already one of the hardest pinball machines uh, created in the last 15, 20 years. Uh, but uh, at Papa, they make it even harder when they're preparing for competition. So you may have noticed there have been some modifications to the game that out on the left side and on the right side. They're usually uh, little rubber bumpers to help you shake the ball back out into play or to have it just bounce back in if it goes over there. Well, those are gone. And the purpose of that is to help, help players lose the ball that much faster and to make the, make, make the game that much more challenging. This game was played in the World Championship qualifying back in August. And Roy Wills from the Netherlands was the only player to advance all the way through the game for a score of over a billion points you see there on the screen as a grand champion. So as we fire the game up, uh, we'll see some of the software settings that Papa's changed to make this pretty much the hardest Twilight Zone you'll ever see. And uh, I've been challenged to try and take down uh, Roy Wills' billion score here. And uh, so we'll see how close I can get. Uh, now Roy earned his score in the, the lights and the action of Papa. So no matter what happens here, he's the man. A um, couple big changes in the uh, the software. The extra balls are shut off. The tilt setting is really tight. Uh, you can't get away with much of anything. We mentioned earlier the outlane posts are removed in both the left and right. And both the slot machine and piano start off at the beginning of the game. That's set to extra hard. So if you want to earn anything on this game, you really got to earn it. So you get control of the ball. And what I'm going to try to do is make both ramps. The left ramp and then the right ramp. This will light both of those shots. And every time the ball is out of control, you're going to see me moving the game around a lot more than normal as I try to make sure that it, I get the ball back under control on a missed shot. I'm trying to make the right ramp right now, and that's a tough shot from the right flipper. Might be better from the left, but from the right flipper, it's a fun little shot. And then pump it in the piano for a round. If I can make that, that would have been nice, but I didn't. Lock is lit, though, because I made both ramps, and there's the lock shot bricked out. Ouch. That's... Well, that's going to happen. That actually happens quite a lot on Twilight Zone. Those brickouts out of the uh, out of the lock. So when that happens, you know you can't uh, you can't go. Boy, the game screwed me over. Is that's pinball, man? Pinball is action. There's a shot. Got it this time, and I got credit for it. So two locks will light the multi ball. So I got to get it in there for the second lock as quickly as possible. Actually managed to shoot in the slot machine on a lucky bounce. As it comes out of here, I'm going to try to trap it immediately on the right, or at least get control if I can't get a trap. And in this game, if you get the ball towards the out lanes, the way the posts are set, you're basically screwed. So you want to keep the ball away from the out lanes as much as possible. It hasn't gone to either of these areas yet, so that's why I'm playing safe. Let's start multi ball. Oh shit. And you can see there, that was not a big move save. But because I did not trap the ball correctly, I lost it. And I tried to save it with a quick move to the right, just a little bit too far. So let's see if I can get the trap again. There, I got a better trap. Multi-ball is ready on the left ramp. During multi-ball, the jackpot is across from the little flipper into the piano. And the relight is from the other flipper into the camera. By the way, if you play some Twilight Zone and you're fairly new to pinball, you might not notice this, but the camera shot that comes up from here goes underneath the little flipper. If you hold up the little flipper when the ball's going there, it'll go in a much wider shot. So let's try starting multi-ball and we'll play that out. I like this multi-ball. It's got a lot of action, great sound effects, one of the loudest jackpot noises in all pinball. And it just feels very satisfying to make shots in this game. There's a great shot right there. Off the upper flipper, bank it, bank it in. That was a deliberate shot, banked off the little baby flipper and in. And now I'm going to try to make a second jackpot. The way this game is set, though, it's really hard to get two, two or three jackpots. There we go. The relight is the camera. And we'll try to get the relight here. Oh! Wow, how did that happen? I thought for sure that was in. But apparently it uh, bricked out of the camera in the relight. And I, I'm not actually sure what happened. I'll have to go to the videotape on that. Um, but, uh, we're back to single ball play again. And pretty much to get back into multi ball, I'm going to have to make more ramps and more locks. So let's go back to the ramps. Left ramp, right ramp. Right ramp is pretty tough on this game at times. But, uh, you know, it's 
fairly makeable from either flipper. More, more importantly is getting control of the ball. And it comes out of this slot machine kick out a lot. You can try to trap it immediately, you can try to bounce it over, but um, the way that Papa games are often set, there is no safety valve. You're, you're basically in trouble no matter how you slice it. So you want to try to just get control any way you can and then go back on to shooting your shots. Every time you miss a shot though, you're in danger. And the lock is lit again, so I'll claim it if I can shoot the friggin' shot. Left ramp, brick, trap, and we'll go for lock again. All right, you advance to the next lock. At this phase, you actually have to make the lock. So going for lock, and there's another brick out of the lock. But those are going to happen. Those happen a lot more often on Twilight Zone than on some other games. And I'm not really sure why. I think it's kind of poor design mechanically of what happened back there. Just such a tight play field with so many different things going on it that, uh, you know, they had a few issues with those kind of things. So let's try to get the second lock. Bounce that over. And no good. Bounce that over, get a trap, and lock missed. You just got to be prepared every time the ball is shot for a return shot that comes back to you in trouble. Just be always be ready. So what I see from a lot of players, uh, not um, there are no real professional players, but uh, players who don't play a lot of pinball is they flip and then they leave the flipper up watching the ball go. Once you flipped, it's gone. You may as well drop the button. And by dropping the button, you get, put yourself back in a ready position to be able to trap the ball the next time it comes out. All right, so at this point, I've got one more lock to go to get multi-ball. I also have a fair number of these gumball shots available. They're worth a lot of points, and eventually they'll release the power ball. So I'm going to aim for those for a little while here and uh, see if I can't pick up at least one of them. Um, just some poor shooting there, but... Uh, Let's see if I can't bounce it over and get a gumball next. There we go. So that's going to return the ball, and the next ball out will be the power ball. Power ball is a white ceramic ball. So let's try again to shoot the gumball, and we'll get the next one released. Oh boy. Oh boy. Bye bye. Oh, I'm surprised I survived that. Okay, so I got it trapped again. Goal here is to shoot that gumball shot. And it's a deceptively difficult shot. It looks easy, but it's actually quite a tight shot. And uh, finally making the shot for that third time releases the power ball. The power ball is a white ceramic ball, really unique idea in this game. And the power ball moves very fast, much faster than the regular pinball. The goal is to shoot it back into the gumball. Gumball game's complaining, put it back. Too hot to handle. There it goes back in, not all the way. You gotta get it all the way in the gumball machine to get the award. And we'll see if I can put that up there. But meanwhile, the thing's bouncing around like crazy. There we go. So that's gonna start a multi ball called Powerball Mania. Three balls will come out, and the goal is to get the ball into the, uh, the right ramp. There it goes, one in the right ramp. And we wanna get that ball into the very top. All right, you just saw me cheat. The design of this game has a jackpot shot at the very top there, but uh, they didn't quite have the money to ver verify whether you had made the jackpot or not. So instead, they let it get verified by the next shot down. And so if you can shoot that shot instead of the one that asks you to, you still get full credit. Come on, let's get control. Come on, give me control. All right, so the game's going along pretty well now. I don't know how close I am to Roy, but uh, I doubt I'm close to Roy. He had a freaking great score. So you can see this area, this power field, really nice idea. You're using the flipper buttons to control magnets. And the goal is to get the ball up to the top. It's tough, very tough. Get in, get in your hole. Ah. Meanwhile, if you drain out of this, you end in the bumpers, and the bumpers are just a real challenge in this game. Very challenging to get the ball out of there safely without dying or losing or draining. But um, I've actually got multi-ball ready again now, so let's try to get the multi-ball. Oh, crap. I put the ball in the bumpers. 
And I've safely survived. I don't know how I survived that, actually. Get control. Let's get back into regular play. Oh, jeez, again! You moron! Alright, back to regular play. Sometimes you take a little pause, a couple seconds, just refresh, and get back to regular play. Let's start that multi ball. Yeah. Again, jackpot is the piano shot, and the relight is the camera shot. We'll try to get one or two more jackpots. Twilight Zone is just a terrific game. It's been in competition since the since it came out in the early mid '90s, and uh, just great sound package. I played it at Papa Four, Papa Five, um, other Papas after that here in Pittsburgh. Just a terrific game. Always a great competition game. So let's get that relight. Relight's on. And we'll put, try to put the ball into the camera, on uh, the piano again for the, another jackpot. Another relight. Oh, no relight. No credit. Again, that's the effect where different shots all feed the same place. The game doesn't really know where the ball came from. So it can't give you credit for something if it doesn't really know. Where's the ball? Okay, there's the ball. There's the camera shot. If I can get it. Did I get it? No! Get in there. Get in your camera. Ah! Oh, son of a whore. Get in there! Oh! Just a second or two too late for another jackpot. That would have been sweet. But as it was, not did not happen. Okay, this is a place where it's a good time to just reset, get, get control, get back to regular play. Get back to good controlled play. And uh, try to make ramps, make locks, get back to another multi-ball. Get back to some modes. Holy mackerel, that was a missed shot. So there's a bad play because now the ball's in the bumpers and it's very dangerous right now. It's, it's in danger of draining, still in danger. And I'm a little bit back at nope, back right in the same danger again. So I'm trying my best to get control of the ball, get the ball back to my flippers by shaking at the appropriate times, and I got it out. Whew, close one, very close one. So as we go here, I'm gonna try to get some more gumballs, and I've also noticed my play has been a little bit erratic in the last minute or two. So let me pause that, and we're gonna try to shoot the right ramp, get it back onto that little mini play field called the power field. All right. So I'm getting a few lucky bounces. Some good opportunities have been going by and uh, were things where I've just been lucky not to lose the ball. And poor traps have been, uh, haven't been punished the way they are sometimes. Like there's a really bad idea to put the ball back in the bumpers again. Oh boy, bad break there. But a good ball overall, very good ball overall. And I don't feel like I'm that much closer to to uh, Roy, for he went all the way through the game and got to, got to the uh, the loss in the zone. But here I am sitting close to 700 million. It's been a strong score, and Roy's score is within reach, but not really within reach, if you know what I mean. Well, let's see if we can get back to multi-ball, pull off a miracle here, and uh, get that score. Get good traps, make good shots, it could happen. One shot to the ramp, one shot, that's a bad shot, and I'm gone. Oh, I'm not gone, okay, now I'm gone. Okay, now in a lot of these cases, I'm able to save myself by pushing the machine in the right way to keep it from the right side. Let's make that ramp. Make it through the power field. Get up in the top, please. Get up there. If I fail at this, I'm now in danger, right into the bumpers, and right back out again, thankfully, with a good push. But that's, oh, that second lock bricked out on me. Oh, damn. Uh, bad drain there, but you know, pretty solid game. Congratulations, Roy, you're still intact. But uh, that's a little bit of Twilight Zone. Great game, one of the best of all time, I feel. And hope you enjoy watching this video. Take care.